What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie to 988, coming out of July, was again through the power of the internet, and this is my rambling series, in which I just talk about life, the universe, things around us that are particularly interesting to me, and I think this is going to be especially rambling, I'm probably going to say some stuff that will offend some people at some point, but that's fine, I almost always do, and everybody's already mad at me half the time anyway, so that's kind of okay, but I want to talk about the current state of the world, and I want to talk about how just scared I am. And I feel like if I'm scared right now, that's really saying something. Because number one, you all know I'm dead inside. <laughs> Nothing scares me, right? I've been through it. I've seen it. I lived through uh, the Cold War. I lived through 9-11 by the RIP Gorbachev with the Cold War thing. I've lived through all of this miserable stuff. But right now as it is, I'm more scared than I've ever been. And I think it's because everything scary is happening all at once, it seems like. Like, I'm, I've been through it, but you've been through it now, too. 2022, 20, 21, 20, it has been, it's been wild. But does it feel like it's getting faster? The bad things are speeding up. They're, they're getting quicker. They're coming faster. And I just, man, I have no clue what tomorrow's going to bring. I genuinely don't. I mean, just this week, you've got Republicans talking about civil war. you, you got Biden talking about F-15s. you got... Water running out in a Mississippi city? I, they're, they're never going to have water again. Their water reserves is gone. They, indefinitely, they're not going to have water. I can't imagine. And they've been warning us about that for a while, by the way. Water's running out. Food is running out. All of this other stuff's running out. It's definitely, the supply lines are definitely going to break down if there's a civil war. Like, get ready for that. That's, that's terrifying. I, can you imagine not having water? Can you imagine not having food? I'm really worried about the food thing. I'm actually really worried about the food thing, if I'm being honest with you. Actually, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm being truly honest, I'm actually really prepared for the not food thing. Vitamins and water, I'll be okay. It's you skinny motherfuckers that are going to starve to death, but that's one of the things I'm worried about. I'm worried about the skinny motherfuckers that are going to starve to death. I don't, I don't, it's dark humor, I know that, but I'm, well, there's, 400,000 people in America, and obviously I'm American, I'm focusing on America. I don't know much, I've never been outside of the country, so I, it's hard for me to even relate to what's going on outside of the country. But inside this country, watching things break down, it's terrifying. And I do not want to think of the 400,000 Americans doing without water, doing without food, doing without necessary items, doing without safety in their own home, and literally dying, killing each other. Wow, I definitely do not want that. Wow, that's scary. Like, I get it. What's the old saying? Um, the seeds of liberty are sown in the blood of patriots. I get that. I respect that. I understand that. Sometimes you get to fight for what you live, believe in. But do you really want to die in this day and age for what you think is going on? Because we all know misinformation runs rampant. We all know that we've been misled. A lot of us don't trust the media anymore, right? Okay, I get that. I respect that. But why do you trust anybody, right? Unless you've seen it with your own eyes, unless you've been there, unless there's people studying it, unless there's, like, proof coming out. How do you know? How do you know? Especially in terms of, like, corruption and everything else. One side's pointing at the other side. They're corrupt. No, they're corrupt. They're the most corrupt. Maybe everything is corrupt. Why do you want to fight for one side that's possibly corrupt? I, I, that's so weird to me. Why would you give up everything? Why would you murder another person? Why would you want to be murdered for it? Why would you want to cause... For, I, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I genuinely don't think it's going to happen. I genuinely don't think it's going to happen. And let me explain why. The Cold War, I lived through it, didn't happen. The doomsday clock of humanity likes to set right there at like 1159. And people love to posture and, and, and point their guns and re rattle their sabers. I mean, I pointed my gun. I postured with mine. You've seen me do it, right? So, it, but nobody really wants it to go to midnight. Nobody really wants it to go to midnight. Even the Republicans or the, whoever else, the Democrats, whoever else is saying civil war, fight for this, fight for that. You really don't want it to come to that. And hopefully if one side declares war on the other or whatever, you know, hopefully nobody's stupid enough to follow them into it. I mean, it's... I, well, people surprise me with how fucking stupid they are sometimes. 
if anything is ever going to cause a war in the United States, I don't feel like it's going to be politics. Left versus right versus middle versus whoever. I, I don't think it's going to come to that. I think what it will come down to is fighting over goods and services, things that we need to survive, water, food. I, I think if that starts to really break down globally or if it starts to break down locally, I think that's when you're going to see a lot of people join the fight. But the good news is if you take a look at this Mississippi town that's out of water, people that do have water are shipping it there and they're providing it. The U.S. government is providing it. State government is working on it. You have states outside of there doing it. If America does break down, it's the only place that does break down. You'll see other countries helping us. How weird would it be to see refugees not trying to get into America, but trying to get the hell out? Would that be insane? But that's a possible future, especially if we start fighting each other. But humanity, when it comes to 1159 on the doomsday clock, we always find a way. That's when we come together. When it's when everything's fine, when everybody's got plenty of food to eat and plenty of water, we fight over who's got the biggest bowl of food. We fight over who has the most resources. We love to squabble over our political differences. But when push comes to shove, the vast majority of people are good, and good people band together to take care of those who need it. And I think that's, I believe that's what would happen. I don't think anybody's crazy enough to click it over to midnight. Not your Putins, not your 45s, not your Bidens, not your January 6ers, none of these people. But if any of them do, we'll find a way. We always do. We, we always do. We always have. I mean, in modern times. <laughs> we won't talk about like the Inquisition. We won't. We won't let's, let's not. Let's, post World War II. Well, I mean, World War II was kind of about that, but shut up. I'm no history guy. The only history I really know is the history that I have lived through. And the history that I've lived through has been very scary. But here's something I've tried to do whenever I get scared, and I've been really scared this week. Um, it's a technique that we learned during the Cold War. It's a technique that you might be able to use now during a very hot war. And that's, obviously, I do believe that when push comes to shove, I will help you and you will help me and we will help each other and things will be okay. However, I don't believe that it'll come to push or shove, but if it does, at least right now, I'm okay. At least right now, the water's on, there's food in the fridge, probably too much of it, and, you know, we're okay. You're entertained by this YouTube video, hopefully comforted by it, and I'm out here making them, and it's fun, and everything's okay today. You have your friends you have your family, you have your job, you have your shelter, you have your way of life today. And we're not guaranteed nothing in life. We're not guaranteed nothing except pain. Like you, you have your heart broken, you'll die one day. You know, think, you know, bury people you love. That stuff's guaranteed. But comfort, joy, that stuff, that stuff that was never guaranteed throughout any of human history, including my personal version of it. And if we have that today, if we have at least some of that today, a meal to eat, water to drink, someone to talk to, something to do. We should show gratitude for that because we never know what tomorrow is going to bring. So that's today's rambling video. I hope it brings you some amount of comfort. Um, don't be so scared. People aren't as crazy as you think they are. And the ones that are generally pretty easily taken care of by the ones who aren't. That said, as always, guys, thanks for watching. I love you very much. I will speak with you again soon. The puppies are demanding attention and I'm going to go give it to them.